Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. You're with Alpha Omega Occasionally. Committed to bringing you occasional videos at the rate of about two or three a week. Um, this video highlights certain frustrations, but I just want to point out that I couldn't be happier living anywhere else in the world. Thailand doesn't tick all the boxes. I mean, where does? Or who does? Or what does? But Thailand certainly ticks the majority of the boxes. But some of the boxes that aren't ticked, well, that's kind of the, the topic of today's video. I touched on this a few times before, but never in the same kind of way. Um, I've become pretty mellow as I get older, as I'm aging living here. And I've got used to a lot of the things that used to cause me frustration. I've just learned to accept them. Because when you learn to accept, you become more at ease with yourself. And that includes, that goes for everything. But I'll, I'll just point a couple of things out to you. One of the things that I still find uh, isolating in Thailand is the indifference and when I say indifference, I mean the people, although they're friendly and courteous and cordial and wonderful to be around, Thai people are generally indifferent to your circumstance or your, 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 your you know, let's say you, basically. I don't know what it is, but there just seems to be a lack what 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 manifests itself i should say i'm just saying manifests itself i'm not saying it is manifests manifests itself as a lack of interest and i'm not saying it is a lack of interest but that's what it comes across as you know they won't ask you anything about yourself i'm standing now in a communal area of the, um, the, the the place where I live. Now I'm going to pan around the camera as I'm speaking with you. And what you'll notice, sorry for, if it's jerking there, hang on. What you might notice behind me there are a group of ladies with their children at a quarter past one in the afternoon. The schools are closed here this the week that I'm doing this for holidays. So the kids are off and there's two ladies there. But do you know they are very courteous, they are very polite in the extreme and very cooperative when it comes to helping out with taking care of each other's children and mine. But in terms of questions about not just how are you, but who are you, the latter doesn't emanate from their lips at any stage or has never emanated from their lips at any stage. I've been living in this place that I'm here now for over two years and I know quite a bit I know a, a, a bit about the my neighbours let's say that I converse with but it doesn't go the opposite way they don't know anything about me and they don't choose to and that in itself is isolating it makes you feel isolated one of the things that brings me in tune with Thai people is my son my son was born here he's he's a dual national dual citizen he's a Thai citizen and an Irish citizen he's got uh, dual passports uh, and he is playing there too now with the rest of the guys and it that is a very, very that's a kind of um it if it's it's it fuses you it fuses you to thai culture when you have a child but you see on the other side of that when i'm out with my son i get asked the question a lot does he speak thai and they ask me in thai um Kun cow put is a cow whatever you know, kun cow whatever it is I know I'm going to get criticised but cow put prasa ank or prasa prasa Thai daimai does he speak Thai and I always reply yes he does he was born here his mother is Thai 
But you see, because he looks, as they say, uh, as a half child, that's a verbatim translation into the Thai la- from the Thai language. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it because I know I'm going to be shot down. Well, no, no I'll, I'll try and pronounce it. Shoot me down. Um, Kroon Kun, is it? Lug, Lug Kroon, Lug Kroon, or Lug Kroon, I can't, Lug is child, Kroon is half. Lug Kroon, okay? Um, half child, that's what they call them. And I, I mean, I, I sometimes say he's not a half child, he's a full child. But anyway, they look upon him, even though he he helps me or he his 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 association with the other kids brings me closer to the ties themselves. A lot of the times, it's highlighted by their reaction to him that he's not Thai. He was born here. His mother is Thai, but in their eyes he's Farang and he's been called Farang and you know I can understand okay they see a difference but when Westerners see him they think he's Thai obviously because they see the Thai in him but when Thai see there he is there now Harry don't knock over the the, the thing okay good 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 hey come up here come up here we're talking about you say say hello guys hello there you go okay go 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 enjoy you see him there in the flesh there he is that's Harry but um, it kind of gets to me it kind of gets me that he's he's not considered the full, the real deal from their point of view. Not because of desire; they don't desire to 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 exclude him. It's just by his appearance that they see him as a as a farang. And I'm concerned, and I've thought about this a lot of his life in Thailand going forward when he goes through school and goes through secondary and what have you um, his, what will his experience be um, and I know this goes for lots of different places I'm not, I'm not saying this is unique to Thailand it goes for everywhere where a child is, is a mixed of mixed race You're go, he's going to or she's going to experience a little bit or a lot of let's say distasteful almost or whatever um, experiences when it comes to dealing with their, their peers um, but for me I talk about Thailand because Thailand is my experience and this is a this is one of the things that uh, I won't say frustrate them frustrate me because there's nothing I can do to change it. Um, it just concerns me for my son going forward. But one of the 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 aspects of living here is that you will never be you will never be a Thai, even if you get a Thai passport. And I don't know anyone who has, and I'm sure somebody has. And if you have one, let me know how you got it. But um, even if you do become a Thai on paper, you will never become a Thai. And that differs from Ireland, my country. You can be of, say, African origin or Arabic origin or any origin you want, and you will be accepted as being Irish. For the Irish viewers, I'll just mention Paul McGrath. Paul McGrath was of African origin and he was a famous Irish football player. What is this doing here? That, I don't know, I don't know. Just take it home. But he was as Dublin as you come. Phil Linneth of Tin Lizzy is another example. As Dublin and as Irish as you come. And you wouldn't think twice. You wouldn't think twice. But here it's different. It's completely different. You're not, if you're not 100% Thai, you're not 100% Thai, and that's the thing. So these are some of the things that are, that, that, you know, are on my mind consistently living here in the place that I choose to live, in the place that I want to live, in the place that I want to end my days because I love living here and I love the people and I love the culture and I love the weather. Um, the food, well, for me, well, I won't go into that, but, well, it's nice, but as far as I'm concerned, I prefer Mexican or, or Arabic. Um, thai food is lovely, but as far as I'm concerned, it's not my choice, let's say. But look, that's a different subject altogether. I hope you've enjoyed this subject, and I hope if you have done, you leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think, and make sure if you haven't done so already, you click that like button, click the share button, click the subscribe button. Do all those wonderful things, and I'll bring you back another wonderful video very soon. Thanks for joining me. Thank you.